Welcome to RLP Audiobooks channel, the channel that brings forgotten books back to life, in audio format, so you can listen to whenever and wherever you desire, whether you're driving, chilling, and even sleeping. Please consider subscribing to the channel, and click the notifications button, so you don't miss out on any other videos. Now, relax, listen, ponder, and enjoy. Surah 3. Al Imran. Context. The period of revelation. This surah consists of four discourses. The first discourse, verse 1, Surah 32, was probably revealed soon after the Battle of Butter. The second discourse, Surah 33, verse 63, was revealed in 9, after Hijra. After Hijra, is the migration from Mecca to Medina. On the occasion of the visit, of the deputation from the Christians of Najran. The Third Discourse. Surah 64, verse 120. Appears to have been revealed immediately after the first one. The Fourth Discourse, Surah 121. Verse 200, was revealed after the Battle of Uhud. Subject. Though these discourses were revealed at different periods, and on different occasions, they are so interlinked, and so interconnected in regard to their central theme, that they make together one continuous whole. This surah, has been especially addressed to two groups, the people of the book, the Jews, and the Christians, and the followers of Muhammad. The message has been extended to the Jews and the Christians, in continuation of the invitation in Surah 2 al-Baqarah, in which they have been admonished for their erroneous beliefs, and evil morals, and advised to accept as a remedy, the truth of the Quran. They have been told here, that Muhammad, taught the same right way of life, that had been preached by their own prophets, that it alone, was the right way, the way of God, hence any deviation from it will be wrong, even according to their own scriptures. The second group, the Muslims, who had been declared to be the best community in Surah 2 al-Baqarah, and appointed torch-bearers of the truth, were entrusted with the responsibility of reforming the world, had been given additional instructions, in continuation of those given in the preceding surah. The Muslims have been warned, to learn a lesson from the religious and moral degeneration of the former communities, and to refrain from treading in their footsteps. Instructions have also been given, about the reformative work they had to perform. Besides this, they have been taught how to deal with the people of the book, and the hypocrites, who were putting different kinds of hindrances in the way of God. Above all, they have been warned to guard against those weaknesses, which had come to the surface in the Battle of Uhud. The following is the background of the Surah. Number 1. The believers had met with all sorts of trials and hardships, about which they had been forewarned in al baqarah Though they had come out victorious, in the Battle of Butter, they were not out of danger yet. Their victory had aroused the enmity of all those powers in Arabia, which were opposed to the Islamic movement. Signs of threatening storms had begun to appear, on all sides, and the Muslims were in a perpetual state of fear, and anxiety. It looked as if the whole Arabian world, around the tiny state of Medina, which was no more than a village state at that time, was bent upon blotting out its very existence. This state of war, was also adversely affecting its economy, which had already been badly disturbed, by the influx of the Muslim refugees from Mecca. Number 2. Then there was the disturbing problem of the Jewish clans, who lived in the suburbs of Medina. They were discarding the treaties of alliance they had made with the Prophet, after his migration from Mecca. So much so that on the occasion of the Battle of Butter, these people of the book, sympathized with the evil aims of the idolaters, in spite of the fact, that their fundamental articles of faith, monotheism, prophethood, and life after death, were the same as those of the Muslims. After the Battle of Butter, they openly began to incite the Quraysh and other Arab clans, to wreak their vengeance on the Muslims. Thus, those Jewish clans, 
set aside their centuries-old friendly and neighborly relations, with the people of Medina. At last, when their mischievous actions, and breaches of treaties became unbearable, the Prophet attacked the Bani Kanoka, the most mischievous of all the other Jewish clans, who had conspired with the hypocrites of Medina, and the idolatrous Arab clans, to encircle the believers on all sides. The magnitude of the peril, might be judged from the fact that even the life of the Prophet himself, was always in danger. Therefore, his companions slept in their armors, during that period, and kept watch at night, to guard against any sudden attack, and whenever the Prophet happened to be out of sight, even for a short while, they would at once, set out in search of him. Number 3. This incitement by the Jews, added fuel to the fire which was burning in the hearts of the Quraysh, and they began to make preparations to avenge the defeat they had suffered at Butter. A year after this, an army of 3,000 strong, marched out of Mecca to invade Medina, and a battle took place at the foot of Mount Tuhud. The Prophet came out of Medina with 1,000 men, to meet the enemy. While they were marching to the battlefield, 300 hypocrites deserted the army and returned to Medina, but there still remained a small band of hypocrites among the 700, who accompanied the Prophet. They played their part, and did their utmost to create mischief and chaos, in the ranks of the believers during the battle. This was the first clear indication of the fact, that within the fold of the Muslim community, there was quite a large number of saboteurs, who were always ready to conspire with the external enemies, to harm their own brethren. Number 4. Though the devices of the hypocrites had played a great part in the setback at Uhud, the weaknesses of the Muslims themselves contributed no less to it. And it was but natural, that the Muslims should show signs of moral weakness, for they were a new community, which had only recently been formed on a new ideology, and had not as yet got a thorough moral training. Naturally, in this second hard test of their physical and moral strength, some weaknesses came to the surface. That is why, a detailed review of the Battle of Uhud was needed, to warn the Muslims of their shortcomings, and to issue instructions, for their reform. It should also be noted, that this review of the battle, is quite different from the reviews that are usually made by generals on similar occasions. The subject. This surah is the sequel to Surah 2, Al-Baqarah, and the invitation therein, is continued to the people of the book. In Al-Baqarah, the Jews were pointedly invited to accept the guidance, and in the surah, the Christians have particularly been admonished, to give up their erroneous beliefs, and accept the guidance of the Quran. At the same time, the Muslims have been instructed to nourish the virtues, that may enable them to carry out their obligations, and spread the divine guidance. Surah 3. Ali Imran. The Family of Imran. In the name of God, the Most Compassionate, the Most Merciful. Alif. Lam. Meme. These are among the 14 opening letters, which occur in various combinations at the beginning of 29 surahs in the Quran. Although there has been much speculation as to their meaning, it was not in fact, revealed by God to anyone, and is known only to Him. God, there is no deity except Him, the ever-living, the sustainer of existence. He has sent down upon you O Muhammad, the book in truth, confirming what was before it and he revealed the Torah and the Gospel before, as guidance for the people. And he revealed the criterion. The Quran. Indeed those who disbelieve in the verses of God, will have a severe punishment, and God is exalted in might, the owner of retribution. Indeed from God, nothing is hidden in the earth, nor in the heaven. It is he, who forms you in the wombs, however he wills. There is no deity except him the exalted in might, the wise. It is he, who has sent down to you O Muhammad. The book, in it, are verses that are definitive. They are the core of the book, and others seem ambiguous. Those which are stated in such a way, that they are open to more than one interpretation, or whose meaning, is known only to God, 
such as the opening letters on certain suras. As for those in whose hearts is deviation, they will follow that of it, which seems ambiguous, seeking discord and seeking to misinterpret. And no one knows its true interpretation, except God. But those firm in knowledge say, we believe in it. All of it is from our Lord, and no one will be reminded, except those of understanding, who say, Our Lord, let not our hearts deviate, after you have guided us, and grant us from yourself mercy. Indeed you are the bestower? Our Lord, surely you will gather the people, for a day about which there is no doubt. Indeed God does not fail in his promise. Indeed those who disbelieve, never will their wealth or their children, avail them against God at all. And it is they, who are fuel for the fire. Theirs is like the custom of the people of Pharaoh, and those before them. They denied our signs, so God sees them for their sins. And God is severe in retribution. Say to those who disbelieve, you will be overcome, and gathered together, to hell, and wretched is the resting place. Already there has been for you a sign, in the two armies which met in combat at Butter, one fighting in the cause of God, and another of disbelievers. They saw them to be twice their own number, by their eyesight. The believers saw the disbelievers to be double their own number, preceding the battle of Butter, while in fact, they were three times their number. But God supports with his victory, whom he wills. Indeed and that is a lesson for those of vision. Beautified for people, is the love of that which they desire. Of women and sons, heaped up sums of gold and silver, fine branded horses, and cattle, and tilled land. That is the enjoyment of worldly life, but God has with him, the best return, paradise. Say, shall I inform you of something better than that? For those who fear God will be gardens in the presence of their Lord, beneath which rivers flow, wherein they abide eternally, and purified spouses, and the pleasure of God. And God is seeing, aware, of his servants, those who say, Our Lord, indeed we have believed. So forgive us our sins, and protect us from the punishment of the fire, the patient, the true, the obedient, those who spend in the way of God and those who seek forgiveness before dawn. God witnesses that there is no deity except him, and so do the angels, and those of knowledge, that he is maintaining creation in justice. There is no deity except him, the exalted in might, the wise. Indeed, the religion in the sight of God is Islam. And those who were given the book, did not differ, except after knowledge had come to them out of jealous animosity between themselves. And whoever disbelieves in the verses of God, then indeed, God is swift in taking account. So if they argue with you, say, I have submitted myself to God, in Islam, and so have those who follow me. And say to those who were given a book, and to the unlearned. Those who had no book, meaning the pagans. Have you submitted yourselves? And if they submit, in Islam they are rightly guided. But if they turn away, then the duty upon you is only to convey the message. And God is seeing of his servants. Those who disbelieve in the signs of God, and kill the prophets without right, and kill those who order justice from among the people, give them tidings of a painful punishment. They are the ones whose deeds have become worthless, in this world and the hereafter, and for them, there will be no helpers. Do you not consider O Muhammad? Those who were given a portion of the book, they are invited to the book of God that it should arbitrate between them. A party of them turns away, and they are refusing. Referring to the Jews, of Medina, who refuse to implement the rulings, given by God in the Torah, or to acknowledge the prophet, whose coming was mentioned therein. That is because they say, never will the fire touch us, except for a few numbered days and because they were deluded in their religion, by what they were inventing. So how will it be, when we assemble them for a day, about which there is no doubt? And each soul will be compensated in full, for what it earned, and they will not be wronged. Say, O God, owner of sovereignty, you give sovereignty to whom you will, and you take sovereignty away from whom you will. You honor, 
whom you will, and you humble, whom you will. In your hand is all good. God states in the Quran, that he has certain attributes, such as hearing, sight, hands, face, mercy, anger, coming, encompassing, being above the throne, etc. Yet, he has disassociated himself from the limitations of human attributes, or human imagination. Correct Islamic belief, requires faith in the existence of these attributes, as God has described them, without comparing them to creation, or denying, that he would have such a quality. His attributes, are befitting to him alone, and there is nothing like unto him. Surah 42, verse 11. Indeed you, are over all things competent. You cause the night to enter the day, and you cause the day to enter the night. And you bring the living, out of the dead, and you bring the dead, out of the living. And you give provision to whom you will, without account, limit, or measure. Let not believers take disbelievers as allies, supporters, or protectors, rather than believers. And whoever of you does that, has nothing, no association, with God, except when taking precaution against them in prudence. When fearing harm from an enemy, the believer may pretend, as long as his heart and intention are not affected. And God warns you of himself, and to God is the final destination. Say, whether you conceal what is in your breasts, or reveal it, God knows it. And he knows that which is in the heavens, and that which is on the earth. And God is over all things competent. The day every soul will find what it has done of good, present before it, and what it has done of evil, it will wish that between itself, and that evil, was a great distance. And God warns you of himself, and God is kind to his servants. Say O Muhammad, if you should love God, then follow me, so God will love you, and forgive you your sins. And God is forgiving and merciful. Say, Obey God and the Messenger. But if they turn away, then indeed God does not like the disbelievers. Indeed God chose Adam and Noah, and the family of Abraham, and the family of Imran, over the world's descendants, some of them from others. And God is hearing, and knowing. Mention O Muhammad, when the wife of Imran, said, My Lord, indeed I have pledged to you, what is in my womb, consecrated for your service, so accept this from me. Indeed you are the hearing, the knowing. But when she delivered her, she said, My Lord, I have delivered a female. And God was most knowing of what she delivered, and the male is not like the female. And I have named her Mary, and I seek refuge for her, in you, and for her descendants, from Satan. The expelled. From the mercy of God. So her Lord accepted her with good acceptance, and caused her to grow in a good manner, and put her in the care of Zechariah. Every time Zechariah entered upon her, in the prayer chamber, he found with her provision. He said, O oh Mary, from where is this coming to you? She said, It is from God. Indeed God provides for whom he wills, without account. At that, Zechariah called upon his Lord, saying, My Lord, grant me from yourself, a good offspring. Indeed you are the hearer of supplication. So the angels called him, while he was standing in prayer in the chamber. Indeed, God gives you good tidings of John, confirming a word from God. Word. Is referring to the prophet Jesus, who was conceived merely by a command from God, the word. B. And who will be honorable, abstaining from women, and a prophet from among the righteous. He said, My Lord, how will I have a boy, when I have reached old age, and my wife is barren? He the angel, said, Such is God, he does what he wills. He said, My Lord, make for me a sign. He said, Your sign is that you will not be able to speak to the people for three days, except by gesture. And remember your Lord much and exalt him with praise in the evening and the morning. And mention when the angels said, O oh Mary, indeed God has chosen you, and purified you, and chosen you above the women of the worlds. O oh Mary, be devoutly obedient to your Lord, and prostrate and bow, 
with those who bow in prayer. That is from the news of the unseen, which we reveal to you O Muhammad. And you were not with them, when they cast their pens. Meaning, through lots. As to which of them should be responsible for Mary. Nor were you with them when they disputed. And mention when the angels said, O Mary, indeed God gives you good tidings. Of a word from him, whose name will be the Messiah. Jesus, the son of Mary, distinguished in this world and the hereafter, and among those brought near to God. He will speak to the people in the cradle, and in maturity, and will be of the righteous. She said, My Lord, how will I have a child when no man has touched me? The angel said, Such is God, he creates what he wills. When he decrees a matter, he only says to it, Be, and it is. And he will teach him the book, and the wisdom. Meaning, the teachings of the prophets, and the Torah, and the gospel and make him a messenger to the children of Israel, who will say, Indeed I have come to you, with a sign from your Lord, in that I design for you from clay, that which is like the form of a bird, then I breathe into it, and it becomes a bird, by permission of God. And I cure the blind from birth, and the leper, and I give life to the dead, by permission of God. And I inform you of what you eat, and what you store in your houses. Indeed in that, is a sign for you, if you are believers. And I have come confirming what was before me of the Torah, and to make lawful for you, some of what was forbidden to you. And I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, so fear God, and obey me. Indeed God is my Lord, and your Lord, so worship him. That is the straight path. But when Jesus felt persistence and disbelief from them, he said, who are my supporters for the cause of God? The disciples said, We are supporters for God. We have believed in God, and testify that we are Muslims, submitting to Him. Our Lord, we have believed in what you revealed, and have followed the Messenger, Jesus, so register us among the witnesses to truth. And they, the disbelievers, planned, but God planned. And God is the best of planners. Mention when God said, O oh Jesus, indeed I will take you, and raise you to myself, and purify, free, you, from those who disbelieve, and make those who follow you in submission to God alone, superior to those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection. Then to me is your return, and I will judge between you, concerning that in which you used to differ. And as for those who disbelieved, I will punish them with a severe punishment in this world and the hereafter, and they will have no helpers. But as for those who believed and did righteous deeds, he will give them in full, their rewards, and God does not like the wrongdoers. This is what we recite to you O Muhammad, of our verses, and the precise, and wise message, the Quran. Indeed the example of Jesus with God. Meaning, regarding his creation of him is like that of Adam. He created him from dust, then he said to him, Be, and he was. The truth is from your Lord, so do not be among the doubters. Then, whoever argues with you about it, after this knowledge has come to you, say, Come, let us call our sons, and your sons, our women, and your women, ourselves, and yourselves, then supplicate earnestly. Together and invoke the curse of God, upon the liars among us. Indeed, this is the true narration. And there is no deity except God. And indeed God is the exalted in might, the wise. But if they turn away, then indeed God is knowing of the corruptors. Say, O people of the book, come to a word that is common, between us, and you, that we will not worship except God, and not associate anything with him and not take one another as lords, instead of God, by obeying another, in disobedience to God. Then if they turn away, then say, bear witness that we are Muslims submitting to him. O people of the book, why do you argue, about Abraham, while the Torah and the Gospel were not revealed until after him? Then will you not reason? Here you are, those who have argued about that of which you have some knowledge, but why do you argue about that of which you have no knowledge? 
and God knows, while you know not. Abraham was neither a Jew, nor a Christian. But he was one inclining toward truth, a Muslim, submitting to God. And he was not of the polytheists. Those who associate others with God. Indeed the most worthy of Abraham among the people. Are those who followed him in submission to God and this prophet. Muhammad, and those who believe in his message. And God is the ally of the believers. A faction of the people of the book, wish they could mislead you. But they do not mislead except themselves, and they perceive it not. O people of the book, why do you disbelieve in the verses of God? Meaning, deliberately reject them. While you witness, to their truth? O people of the book, why do you mix? Confuse. The truth with falsehood, and conceal the truth while you know it? And a faction of the people of the book, say to each other, Believe in that which was revealed to the believers at the beginning of the day, and reject it at its end, that perhaps they will return. Meaning, abandon their religion. And do not trust except those who follow your religion. Say, indeed the true guidance is the guidance of God. Do you fear, lest someone be given knowledge like you are given? Or, that they would thereby argue with you before your Lord? Say, indeed all bounty is in the hand of God. He grants it to whom he wills. And God is all-encompassing, and wise. He selects for his mercy whom he wills. And God is the possessor of great bounty. And among the people of the book is he, who if you entrust him with a great amount of wealth, he will return it to you. And among them is he, who if you entrust him with a single silver coin, he will not return it to you, unless you are constantly standing over him, demanding it. That is because they say, there is no blame upon us concerning the unlearned. The Jews do not consider it a sin to cheat, or lie to a Gentile, or a pagan. And they speak untruth about God, while they know it. But yes, whoever fulfills his commitment, and fears God, then indeed God loves those who fear him. Indeed those who exchange the covenant of God, and their own oaths, for a small price will have no share in the hereafter, and God will not speak to them, or look at them on the day of resurrection, nor will he purify them, and they will have a painful punishment. And indeed there is among them a party, who alter the book, with their tongues, so you may think it is from the book, but it is not from the book. And they say, this is from God, but it is not from God. And they speak untruth about God, while they know. It is not for a human, prophet, or any believer, that God should give him the book. In the case of the prophet Muhammad, the book, meaning the Quran, and authority and prophethood, and then he would say to the people, be servants to me, rather than God, but instead, he would say, be pious scholars of the Lord, because of what you have taught of the book, and because of what you have studied nor could he order you to take the angels and prophets as lords. Would he order you to disbelief, after you had been Muslims? And recall, O people of the book, when God took the covenant of the prophets, saying, Whatever I give you of the book and wisdom, and then there comes to you a messenger, confirming what is with you, you must believe in him, and support him. God said, Have you acknowledged, and taken upon that, my commitment? Meaning, have you accepted this obligation? They said, we have acknowledged it. He said, then bear witness, and I am with you among the witnesses. And whoever turned away after that, they were the defiantly disobedient. So is it other than the religion of God they desire. While to him, have submitted all those within the heavens and the earth. Willingly or by compulsion, and to him, they will be returned? Say. We have believed in God, and in what was revealed to us. And what was revealed to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, and the descendants, Alasbot. And in what was given to Moses and Jesus, and to the prophets from their Lord, we make no distinction between any of them, and we are Muslims submitting to him. And whoever desires other than Islam, as religion, never will it be accepted from him, and he in the hereafter, will be among the losers. How?
shall God guide a people who disbelieved after their belief, and had witnessed that the messenger is true, and clear signs had come to them? And God does not guide the wrongdoing people. Those, their recompense will be, that upon them is the curse of God and the angels, and the people, all together, abiding eternally therein. The punishment will not be lightened for them, nor will they be reprieved, except for those who repent after that. Meaning, after their wrongdoing. And correct themselves. For indeed God is forgiving and merciful. Indeed those who disbelieve. Reject. The message after their belief, and then increase in disbelief. Never will their claimed repentance be accepted, and they are the ones astray. Indeed those who disbelieve and die while they are disbelievers, never would the whole capacity of the earth and gold, be accepted from one of them, if he would seek to ransom himself with it. For those, there will be a painful punishment, and they will have no helpers. Never will you attain the good reward. Another meaning is, you will never attain righteousness. Until you spend in the way of God, from that which you love. And whatever you spend, indeed God is knowing of it. All food was lawful to the children of Israel, except what Israel, Jacob, had made unlawful to himself, before the Torah was revealed. Say O Muhammad, so bring the Torah and recite it, if you should be truthful. And whoever invents about God untruth, after that, then those are truly the wrongdoers. Say, God has told the truth. So follow the religion of Abraham, inclining toward truth, and he was not of the polytheists. Indeed the first house of worship, established for mankind, was that at Baca, Mecca, blessed, and a guidance for the worlds. In it are clear signs, such as the standing place of Abraham, and whoever enters it, the Haram, shall be safe, and due to God from the people, is a pilgrimage to the house for whoever is able to find there to a way. But whoever disbelieves, refuses, then indeed God is free, from need of the worlds. He has no need for his servants' worship, it is they who are in need of him. Say, O people of the book, why do you disbelieve in the verses of God, while God is witness over what you do? Say, O people of the book, why do you prevent from the way of God, those who believe, seeking to make it seem deviant, while you are witnesses to the truth. And God is not unaware of what you do. O oh you, who have believed, if you obey a party of those who are given the book, they will turn you back, after your belief, to being unbelievers. And how could you disbelieve, while to you, are being recited the verses of God, and among you is his messenger, and whoever holds firmly to God? Meaning adhering to his ordinances strictly, then trusting in him, and relying upon him, completely, has indeed been guided to a straight path. O oh you, who have believed, fear God as he should be feared, and do not die except as Muslims, in submission to him, and hold firmly to the rope, referring, either to his covenant, or the Quran, of God altogether, and do not become divided and remember the favor of God upon you, when you were enemies, and he brought your hearts together, and you became by his favor, brothers. And you were on the edge of a pit of the fire, and he saved you from it. Thus does God make clear to you his verses, that you may be guided, and let there be a rising from you, a nation inviting to all that is good, and joining what is right, and forbidding what is wrong. According to the laws of God and those will be the successful. And do not be like the ones who became divided, and differed after the clear proofs had come to them. And those will have a great punishment, on the day some faces will turn white, and some faces will turn black. As for those whose faces turn black, to them, it will be said, Did you disbelieve? Reject. Faith after your belief? Then taste the punishment, for what you use to reject. But as for those whose faces will turn white, they will be within the mercy of God. They will abide therein, eternally. These are the verses of God. We recite them to you O Muhammad, in truth. And God wants no injustice to the worlds, his creatures. 
To God belongs whatever is in the heavens, and whatever is on the earth. And to God will all matters be returned. You are the best nation produced as an example for mankind. You enjoin what is right, and forbid what is wrong, and believe in God. If only the people of the book had believed, it would have been better for them. Among them, are believers, but most of them are defiantly disobedient. They will not harm you, except for some annoyance. And if they fight you, they will show you their backs. Retreat. Then they will not be aided. They have been put under humiliation by God. Wherever they are overtaken except for a rope. For example, a covenant. From God, and a rope. For example, a treaty. From the people, the Muslims. Once they have surrendered, the people of the book retain their rights and honor, in spite of their refusal of Islam through payment of the jizya tax, in place of zakat, and military service due from Muslims. They are then under the protection of the Islamic State. And they have drawn upon themselves, anger from God, and have been put under destitution. That is because they disbelieved in, rejected, the verses of God, and killed the prophets without right. That is because they disobeyed, and habitually transgressed. They are not all the same, among the people of the book is a community. Of people who accepted Islam. Standing in obedience, reciting the verses of God, during periods of the night, and prostrating in prayer. They believe in God in the last day, and they enjoin what is right, and forbid what is wrong, and hasten to good deeds. And those are among the righteous. And whatever good they do, never will it be removed from them. And God is knowing of the righteous. Indeed, those who disbelieve, never will their wealth or their children, avail them against God, at all, and those are the companions of the fire, they will abide therein, eternally. The example of what they spend in this worldly life, is like that of a wind, containing frost, which strikes the harvest of a people, who have wronged themselves sinned, and destroys it. And God has not wronged them, but they wrong themselves. O oh you, who have believed, do not take as intimates, those other than yourselves. Believers. For they will not spare you any ruin. They wish you would have hardship. Hatred has already appeared from their mouths, and what their breasts conceal is greater. We have certainly made clear to you the signs, if you will use reason. Here you are loving them but they are not loving you, while you believe in the book, all of it. That of it, revealed by God, not what was subsequently altered by men. And when they meet you, they say, we believe. But when they are alone, they bite their fingertips at you, in rage. Say, die in your rage. Indeed God is knowing, of that within the breasts. If good touches you, it distresses them, but if harm strikes you, they rejoice at it. And if you are patient and fear God, their plot will not harm you. At all, indeed God is encompassing of what they do. And remember when you, O Muhammad, left your family in the morning to post the believers at their stations. For the battle of Uhud, and God is hearing and knowing. When two parties among you were about to lose courage. But God was their ally, and upon God the believers should rely. And already, had God given you victory at the battle of butter, while you were weak? Few. In number. Then fear God, perhaps you will be grateful. Remember when you said to the believers, is it not sufficient for you, that your Lord should reinforce you with three thousand angels sent down? Yes, if you remain patient and conscious of God, and they, the enemy, come upon you attacking in rage your Lord will reinforce you with five thousand angels, having marks of distinction. And God made it not, except as a sign of good tidings for you, and to reassure your hearts thereby. And victory is not except from God, the exalted in might, the wise, that he might cut down a section of the disbelievers, or suppress them, so that they turn back disappointed. Not for you O Muhammad, but for God is the decision whether he should cut them down, or forgive them, or punish them, for indeed they are wrongdoers. And to God belongs whatever is in the heavens, and whatever is on the earth. He forgives whom he wills, 
and punishes whom he wills. And God is forgiving and merciful. O you, who have believed, do not consume usury, doubled, and multiplied, but fear God that you may be successful. And fear the fire, which has been prepared for the disbelievers. And obey God and the messenger, that you may obtain mercy. And hasten to forgiveness from your Lord, and a garden. Paradise. As wide as the heavens and the earth prepared for the righteous, who spend in the cause of God, during ease and hardship, and who restrain anger, and who pardon the people. And God loves those who strive for excellence, and those who, when they commit an immorality or wrong themselves, by transgression, remember God and seek forgiveness for their sins, and who can't forgive sins except God, and who do not persist in what they have done, while they know. Those, their reward is forgiveness from their Lord, and gardens beneath which rivers flow in paradise, wherein they will abide eternally, and excellent is the reward of the righteous workers. Similar situations as yours, have passed on before you. So proceed throughout the earth, and observe how was the end of those who denied. This Quran is a clear statement to all the people, and a guidance and instruction for those conscious of God. So do not weaken and do not grieve, and you will be superior if you are true believers. If a wound should touch you, there has already touched the opposing people, a wound similar to it. And these days, of varying conditions, we alternate among the people, so that God may make evident those who believe, and may take to himself from among you martyrs. And God does not like the wrongdoers, and that God may purify the believers through trials, and destroy the disbelievers? Or do you think that you will enter paradise? While God has not yet made evident, those of you who fight in his cause, and made evident those who are steadfast? And you had certainly wished for death, martyrdom, before you encountered it, and you have now seen it before you, while you were looking on. Muhammad is not but a messenger. Other messengers have passed on before him. So if he was to die, or be killed, would you turn back on your heels to unbelief? And he, who turns back on his heels will never harm God, at all, but God will reward the grateful. And it is not possible, for one to die except by permission of God, at a decree determined. And whoever desires the reward of this world, we will give him thereof, and whoever desires the reward of the hereafter, we will give him thereof. And we will reward the grateful. And how many a prophet fought, and with him fought many religious scholars. But they never lost assurance, due to what afflicted them in the cause of God, nor did they weaken or submit. And God loves the steadfast. And their words were not, but that they said, Our Lord, forgive us our sins, and the excess committed in our affairs. And plant firmly our feet, and give us victory over the disbelieving people. So God gave them the reward of this world, and the good reward of the hereafter. And God loves those who strive for excellence. O oh you, who have believed, if you obey those who disbelieve, they will turn you back on your heels, and you will then become losers. But God is your protector, and he is the best of helpers. We will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve. For what they have associated with God, of which he had not sent down any authority. And their refuge will be the fire, and wretched is the residence of the wrongdoers. And God had certainly fulfilled his promise to you, when you were killing them, the enemy, by his permission, until the time when you lost courage, and fell to disputing about the order given by the prophet, and disobeyed, after he had shown you that which you love. Meaning, the spoils of a war. Among you, are some who desire this world, and among you, are some who desire the hereafter. Then he turned you back from them. Defeated. That he might test you. And he has already forgiven you, and God is the possessor of bounty, for the believers. Remember when you fled and climbed the mountain, without looking aside at anyone, while the messenger was calling you from behind. So, God repaid you, with distress upon distress so you would not grieve for that which had escaped you, a victory and spoils of war, or for that which had befallen you of injury and death. 
and God is fully acquainted with what you do. Then after distress, he sent down upon you security, in the form of drowsiness, overcoming a faction of you, while another faction worried about themselves, thinking of God other than the truth, the thought of ignorance, saying, Is there anything for us to have done in this matter? Say, Indeed, the matter belongs completely to God. They conceal within themselves what they will not reveal to you. They say, if there was anything we could have done in the matter, we, some of us, would not have been killed right here. Say, even if you had been inside your houses, those decreed to be killed, would have come out to their deathbeds. It was so that God might test what is in your breasts, and purify what is in your hearts. And God is knowing of that within the breasts. Indeed those of you who turned back, on the day the two armies met at Uhud, it was Satan who caused them to slip, because of some blame they had earned. But God has already forgiven them. Indeed God is forgiving and forbearing. O oh you, who have believed, do not be like those who disbelieved, and said about their brothers when they traveled through the land, or went out to fight, if they had been with us, they would not have died or have been killed. So God makes that misconception a regret, within their hearts. And it is God who gives life, and causes death, and God is seeing of what you do. And if you are killed in the cause of God, or die, then forgiveness from God, and mercy, are better than whatever they accumulate in this world. And whether you die, or are killed, unto God you will be gathered. So by mercy from God O Muhammad, you are lenient with them. And if you had been rude in speech, and harsh in heart, they would have disbanded from about you. So pardon them, and ask forgiveness for them, and consult them in the matter. And when you have decided, then rely upon God. Indeed God loves those who rely upon Him. If God should aid you, no one can overcome you. But if He should forsake you, who is there that can aid you after Him? And upon God, let the believers rely. It is not attributable to any prophet, that he would act unfaithfully in regard to war booty. And whoever betrays, taking unlawfully, will come with what he took on the day of resurrection. Then will every soul be fully compensated for what it earned, and they will not be wronged. So as one who pursues the pleasure of God, like, one who brings upon himself the anger of God, and whose refuge is hell. And wretched is the destination. They are varying degrees in the sight of God and God is seeing of whatever they do. Certainly did God confer great favor upon the believers, when he sent among them a messenger from themselves, reciting to them his verses, and purifying them and teaching them the book, the Quran, and wisdom, meaning, the prophets Sunnah, examples, and sayings, although they had been before, in manifest error. Why is it that when a single disaster struck you on the day of Uhud, although you had struck the enemy in the battle of Butter, with one twice as great, you said, from where is this? Say it is from yourselves, due to your sin. Indeed God is over all things competent. And what struck you on the day, the two armies met at Uhud, was by permission of God that he might make evident, the true believers, and that he might make evident, those who are hypocrites. For it was said to them come, fight in the way of God, or at least defend. They said, if we had known there would be fighting, we would have followed you. They were nearer to disbelief that day, than to faith, saying with their mouths, what was not in their hearts. And God is most knowing of what they conceal. Those who said about their brothers while sitting at home, if they had obeyed us, they would not have been killed. Say, then prevent death from yourselves if you should be truthful. And never think of those who have been killed in the cause of God, as dead. Rather, they are alive with their Lord, receiving provision, rejoicing in what God has bestowed upon them of his bounty, and they receive good tidings, about those to be martyred after them, who have not yet joined them, that there will be no fear concerning them nor will they grieve. They receive good tidings of favor from God, and bounty, and of the fact, that God does not allow the reward of believers to be lost. Those believers who responded to God and the messenger, after injury had struck them. 
for those of them who strove for excellence, and feared God, is a great reward, those to whom people, hypocrites, said, indeed the people have gathered against you, so fear them. But it merely increased them in faith, and they said, sufficient for us is God, and he is the best disposer of affairs. So they returned with favor from God, and bounty, no harm having touched them. And they pursued the pleasure of God, and God is the possessor of great bounty. That is only Satan who frightens you of his supporters. So fear them not, but fear me, if you are indeed believers. And do not be grieved O Muhammad, by those who hasten into disbelief. Indeed they will never harm God at all. God intends that he should give them no share in the hereafter, and for them is a great punishment. Indeed those who purchase disbelief in exchange for faith, never will they harm God, at all, and for them is a painful punishment. And let not those who disbelieve, ever think that because we extend their time of enjoyment, it is better for them. We only extend it for them so that they may increase in sin, and for them is a humiliating punishment. God would not leave the believers in that state you are in presently, until he separates the evil from the good. Nor would God reveal to you the unseen. But instead, God chooses of his messengers whom he wills, so believe in God and his messengers. And if you believe, and fear him, then for you is a great reward. And let not those who greedily withhold, what God has given them of his bounty, ever think that it is better for them. Rather, it is worse for them. Their necks will be encircled by what they withheld on the day of resurrection. And to God belongs the heritage of the heavens and the earth. And God, with what you do, is fully acquainted. God has certainly heard the statement of those Jews, who said indeed God is poor, while we are rich. We will record what they said in their killing of the prophets without right, and will say, taste the punishment of the burning fire. That is for what your hands have put forth, and because God is not ever unjust to his servants. They are those who said, Indeed God has taken our promise. Not to believe any messenger until he brings us an offering, which fire from heaven will consume. Say there have already come to you messengers before me, with clear proofs, and even that of which you speak. So why did you kill them, if you should be truthful? Then if they deny you O Muhammad, so were messengers before you belied. They brought clear proofs, and written ordinances, and the enlightening book. The unaltered, original Torah, and Gospel, which were revealed by God. Every soul will taste death, and you will only be given your full compensation on the day of resurrection. So he, who is drawn away from the fire and admitted to paradise, has attained his desire. And what is the life of this world? except the enjoyment of delusion. You will surely be tested in your possessions, and in yourselves. And you will surely hear from those who are given the book before you, and from those who associate others with God, much abuse. But if you are patient and fear God, indeed it is of the matters worthy of determination. And mention O Muhammad, when God took a covenant from those who were given the book, saying, You must make it clear explain it to the people and not conceal it. But they threw it away behind their backs and exchanged it for a small price. And wretched is that which they purchased. And never think, that those who rejoice in what they have perpetrated, and like to be praised for what they did not do, never think them to be in safety from the punishment, and for them is a painful punishment. And to God belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and God is over all things competent. Indeed in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the alternation of the night, and the day, are signs for those of understanding who remember God, while standing, or sitting, or lying on their sides, and give thought to the creation of the heavens and the earth, saying, Our Lord, you did not create this aimlessly. Exalted are you, above such a thing, then protect us from the punishment of the fire. Our Lord. Indeed whoever you admit to the fire, you have disgraced him, and for the wrongdoers there are no helpers. Our Lord, indeed we have heard a caller, Prophet Muhammad, calling to faith, saying, Believe in your Lord, and we have believed. 
our Lord, so forgive us our sins, and remove from us our misdeeds, and cause us to die with the righteous. Our Lord, and grant us what you promised us through your messengers. And do not disgrace us on the day of resurrection. Indeed you do not fail in your promise. And their Lord responded to them, Never will I allow to be lost. The work of any worker among you whether male or female, you are of one another. So those who emigrated, or were evicted from their homes, or were harmed in my cause, or fought, or were killed, I will surely remove from them their misdeeds, and I will surely admit them to gardens beneath which rivers flow, as reward from God, and God has with him, the best reward. Be not deceived by the uninhibited movement of the disbelievers, throughout the land. It is but a small enjoyment, then their final refuge is hell, and wretched is the resting place. But those who fear their Lord, will have gardens beneath which rivers flow, abiding eternally therein, as hospitality from God. And that which is with God is best for the righteous. And indeed among the people of the book are those who believe in God. And what was revealed to you, and what was revealed to them, being humbly submissive to God. They do not exchange the verses of God for a small price. Those will have their reward with their Lord, indeed God is swift in account. O you, who have believed, persevere. In your religion, and in the face of your enemies. And endure. In patience, outlasting your enemies, and against your own evil inclinations. And remain stationed. Posted at your positions, against the enemy, or in the mosques, awaiting prayers. And fear God, that you may be successful. Thank you, for listening. If you have enjoyed listening to this book, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel, and click the notifications button, so you don't miss out, on any other videos.